Ontario, California, it's Football Sports. Hey, welcome everyone to uh, FUBAR Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Josh, along with my partners in slime, Mr. Foo. What's going on, Foo? Foo bitty doobity. And Mr. <laughs> Joe C on the mix, providing color commentary. How's it going, Joe C? What's cracking? Color right, commentary. Guys. Color commentary. We got our own special team over here. I'm the colored commentary. That's what they meant to say. Well, you know, I didn't want to go that route, but you know oh, what I mean? Man. If we're going that, that route, That reminds me, I have a... Great gem to show, Jose, oh. at the end of the show. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Oh, man. So Pick I... on the brown guy, huh? Is that what this has <laughs> well, become? You are, you're like a light vanilla. You're like a French vanilla. <laughs> I'm like a Mexican vanilla. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're a Mexican vanilla. You're like... Yeah. You're, yeah, you're like one of the seven fucking types of vanilla ice cream, dude. Right? You're one of the lighter ones. Yeah, you're vanilla getting, bean, maybe you, even. You're, you're ain't you're not getting you're, you're not yeah, getting close yeah, to golden vanilla fucking bean. vanilla, dude. All right. Vanilla yeah. frijol. <laughs> wow, wow, that's wow. Actually, that sounds delicious. Um, anyways, so it's been a while since we've had Fubar Sports. I know uh, Josie's uh-huh. been begging and nagging us for a while. I don't know what you're talking things, about. Dude. To get things going. Only because so, I don't know what the hell's going on in sports without you fucks talking about sports. Sports. So well, I need you guys around. We'll so I catch can, everyone up. Uh, so so we're I know what people are talking. You know what they about. say, Foo? Sometimes you got to stretch a little bit before you jump into the sports. Exactly, room. So we're man. Just, exactly. We're just stretching, we're just stretching, stretching our boundaries. Letting, letting some sports news build. So we'll be discussing some NFL news, um, going to little MLB. Yeah. Uh, we'll be exploring some NHL, tennis, soccer. But, but we know nothing of NHL. Oh, oh we'll, but we will get we some will updates now. Foo. We will try. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll finish off with some. NBA. So uh, everybody likes the NBA. Yep, yep. So let's move right along to the NFL. Sweet. So, Foo, how did your Rams do? I heard they did well. I heard they won. They yes. did. Yeah, they spanked the cowgirls, um, yeah, thirty to twenty-two. Oh, the memes! Oh my the god, the memes that have come out of the Cowboys' <laughs> loss is in, like have, oh, pretty gems. impressive. There's been the. I'm not even mad. The, I'm real, the real creatives <laughs> come out, dude. Yeah, yeah. it's like. Uh, Everyone, we are now safe from one year for w- one entire year of hearing we them boys. We them boys or how about them cowboys? Oh, <laughs> Douchebags. So, um, <laughs> I mean, CJ Anderson, another 123 yard rushing game, Fucking nuts, two touchdowns. Dude. dude, this guy was on a, another um, NFL roster. So, yeah. like in 2018, the Broncos cut him. And uh, then he signed with the Panthers. He got hurt, and then he was waived by the Panthers. Mm-hmm. And then he signed, signed with, with the, the Raiders. Raiders never before played. he reported, they're like, never mind. We don't want you. Yeah. And then, like, three weeks before the end of the season, the Rams sign him. Yeah. He has, what, four consecutive 100-yard uh, yard games, rushing games and at least a touchdown at every one of the games. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. He, has, he has three touchdowns in the last four games. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, he scored two touchdowns. He's been, in dude, he's been this last game balling. Yeah, so, so and they still have Todd Gurley, who's a freaking right. touchdown machine in, yeah. in himself. So, dude, the Rams look dangerous as hell. Um, What's happening in the other parts of the NFL? Well, well food, the my other... Eagles lost, unfortunately. Oh, they yeah. put up a hell of a fight. A hell you know of a what, fight, man? man? We're watching that game live, and I'm sorry to say, but. Alshon Jeffrey choked. You suck, dude. Dude, he choked, he man. Choked. I mean, I love the Eagles. I love Alshon Jeffrey, but dude, that catch he could he makes that catch nine times, ninety nine like, times out of a hundred. You didn't see the catch, I assume, Fu. So time. yeah, yeah, except for this one. Fu, he like, goes for the catch, boom, right through his fucking alligator hands. arms, dude. Or oh, no, it hits man. his like fingers, yeah. but he just doesn't catch it. It's like it, it slips oh, out. Man. You can see it slips out past him. Yeah, it slips past him, and then the defender Marshawn Lattimore just boom right. He in was his, there, right and, in his he, bread and he basket, slowed dude. it down enough for him just to catch yeah. it real quick. Game over, dude. right in his bread basket. Wow. And the Eagles could would have scored probably the, on that. They win on a t- dude. They win on a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. And, and they were thirty five yards away from winning. on Well, a touchdown. I mean the the. Saints probably could have come back. You know, they have that. They there was still enough time for them. Well, to no, come that's back why they sport. played it through the two minute warning. Yeah, because they wanted to run the clock down. Yeah, and just end the game. So, like, dude, the right. Eagles were like, yeah. they were trying to win it then and there in that drive. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, it uh, our season ended that way. But you know what? I'm glad. I'm proud of the fight that it was. Um, they were not looking this way. Like they were going to even make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Like halfway through. I think after like seven um, games. 
they we were, were like, like four and uh, or like we were like four and six at one point. Yeah, we were done winning. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. um, then finally we uh, we kicked it back up a notch um, and made it into the playoffs miraculously. So next year, you know, hopefully everyone's everyone being healthy, we have a chance at the Super Bowl again. So we'll see. Dope. Um, and but, then but Fu, the uh, you know your Rams won Fu. Yeah, but the other LA team didn't win through. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the Chargers, the Los Angeles Chargers of San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers of San Diego. Man, <laughs> they uh they lost to the Patriots in Foxborough, forty one yeah. to twenty eight. The game is wow. pretty much over at halftime, though. Pretty much, it was thirty five to seven at halftime. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, they weren't good to them. No, it wasn't no. close. It wasn't <laughs> even close. Yeah, I think that last those last few touchdowns were all just garbage time touchdowns. Just like yeah, let them get something. You know, let's right, make yeah. it a little competitive. You guys were. Close, yeah. <laughs> um, another game that was not even close was the Chiefs Colts. Uh, the Chiefs mm. just stomped over all over the Colts, uh, winning 31 to 13. Wow, um, yeah, and yeah, like you dude. said, he those two touchdowns were in garbage time, like last five minutes of the game, yeah. And Patrick Mahomes is just a beast, dude. The fact that he played, he could have played baseball too. Mm-hmm. Um, imagine what he could have done. Um, so yeah, it's going to be insane. I I actually, my prediction for the Super Bowl, um, is Chiefs against, uh, the, um, the, uh, Saints there. I project Chiefs Saints. I think the Saints are going to beat the Rams because dude, it's going to be in the Superdome Uh and the Superdome is one of the craziest places to play in. Like you can't hear shit. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, I think, you know, I think the Rams will put up a good fight, but I'm going with the Saints and the, the the Chiefs. You heard that? Yeah, I heard him, man. Oh man, what do you, what do you, who do you think there, Fu? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with uh, the, you know, the Rams. I think they're gonna, they're gonna take that man. I honestly think it's a coin toss, uh, but I will. Way to be controversial, man. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, no, literally, like it's gonna come down to whoever is OT, the... and it's a coin toss, and then the one to get the ball. You know what, man? Now that you say that, yes. <laughs> so it's, that's gonna, you think that that's your prediction. That's what's going to happen. Possibly. Possibly, yes. Possibly. Possibly. I think the Rams might take it uh, just for the fact that their defense is pretty menacing right now. And if they can give Drew Brees a hard time, I think yeah, they got a shot. When the defense is on, yeah, they're they're pretty menacing. Um, actually, and there's some, some bad blood. Yes, there is from earlier this season. What happened? Um, just the fucking Saints talking shit after they won, um, like they did again this last week against the Eagles. Well, I guess They're they asked. About they asked too. the earlier in the season. They asked the Saints coach, "Hey, um, what was going through your mind? How did you call that last play?" And then the coach was like, "Oh yeah, I got we got the matchup we wanted on the receiver, which means that hell yeah, we we wanted that guy to play defense on our guy, and we knew we were going to win. Yeah. So they went uh. the." the the reporters go up to that cornerback who was defending the guy who caught the game-winning like touchdown, uh-huh. and they're like, "Did you hear what the head coach said?" And he's like, "What did he say?" And they're like, "That we got the matchup we wanted." And then basically, it's like, "Oh yeah, keep him." T-. Basically, like, "Yeah, like, keep telling him to talk that shit. We're gonna see him real soon." Damn. Yeah, like week fourteen. So That's like, right. alluded to like the playoff matchup coming up. Yeah, so it's gonna be a bloodbath in this game. Yeah, yeah, it's what gonna it's fuck? yeah it's gonna be a good game. The line's nice. close. Um, the Saints are uh, favored uh, minus three and a half. So um, and you know what, the line's been super accurate this whole playoffs. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, like you're not... rig status, dude. Yeah, really, super close, super yeah. close. Like last week, the line with the uh, um, Rams Cowboys was. Uh, Plus eight or minus mm-hmm. eight and a half, mm-hmm. and it was a eight point game. Wow! So the Cowboys covered. Same thing with the um, the Eagles game. Mm-hmm. I think the uh, it was a, it was New a Orleans eight were point favored by eight, and, and they won by seven. Jeez. Six. Oh, six. Yeah, yeah they six. won by six. So yeah, so they covered too. Um, so yeah, I mean, then the Chiefs Patriots game. Uh, Chiefs are favored minus three. I think it's just time for the Patriots to leave. Fu, what do you think is going to happen to old Tom, Fu? Old Tom Brady. Well, he'll retire, and he'll still be married this, to his hot wife. Year? And I think Tom's going to, you know, die a happy, happy He's person. He's going to ride off into the sunset, Oh, Fu? bro, yeah. It's going to be, you know, like that time uh, when you when you beat the um, Street Fighter with Ken, oh, and then he yeah. just walks into the distance. Like, it's, I don't know, maybe like straight into <laughs> the ocean. With his backpack? Yeah, I, I don't know. Or is that just Ryu? Just walk into that shore. Is that Ryu? 
I think it's was Ryu. That, was that Ryu? Yeah, that's Ryu, Ryu probably. Ken. Yeah, that sounds about yeah, cause right. Yeah, because Ken goes in the car. Mm -hmm. Ken jumps in the red That's car. That's right. That's yeah, right with the hookers yeah, yeah. or yes, something. Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, he's getting laid. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure. Dude, he's grabbing he's all that. saving the earth. Yeah. You're welcome, ladies. Oh, yeah, he's uh, betting all those all those fine ladies. But, um, uh, yeah, that's how I see Tom Brady, like, exactly in, you know, in 16-bit form, <laughs> just walking out into the distance with his backpack. Dang. <laughs> I hope they lose. I hope they lose. <laughs> I hope they fucking lose. Yep. The Pats? Uh, yeah, I hope the they fucking lose. The Pats, I'm, I'm they just done with them. They, act, they, they don't have to Who's make it Who's your AFC this year? pick, Foo? Pats or the Chiefs? Uh, I think the Chiefs might, you know, make them make fuck them, off. Make them pay? Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking... Look, they, look, they, they look great. They look, good. they look really good However, right their defense is the worst-ranked defense in the NFL. <sighs> you know what? They didn't play like it on, on Sunday. Not You know what? They looked like they're ready. And mm -hmm. I think... so. You know what? Sometimes the worst defenses in the league... When it comes to playoff time, they they know how to crunch. You know it. what? Sometimes some players yeah. too. When it's playoff time, uh, one defense in switch, particular, uh, the uh, Colts defense, the 06 Colts with Peyton Manning, their defense was not that good all year. Like they're in the bottom, I think they're in the bottom five, mm -hmm. and they won the Super Bowl because they beat the you know uh, with Peyton Manning being the offensive player he is. Yeah. they just had a hold the Bears defense and they held them tight. Yeah. So I mean, any any defense can show up at any moment. True that, yeah. son. So, continuing on with uh, you know some more football news, a uh, NFL prospect by the name of Kyle, Kyler Murray uh, from Oklahoma. We, I think um, we briefly touched on this. Uh, yeah, we yeah we talked. Uh, I know we we've discussed it with you uh, once, um, Joe. That uh, there's a kid. He he was recently signed and drafted by the Oakland A's mm -hmm. in June of 2018 for the uh, for the MLB. That's right. Yeah, you so, were talking about that uh, the other day, and um, he was also a prospect for a different sport. Yes, because he plays a uh, NF. He plays a uh, football, college mm -hmm. football for the Oklahoma Sooners, as well as college baseball. Mm -hmm. So he was his junior year. He and he had already been signed after during his junior year, at, or I'm sorry, his sophomore year. Drafted. Yeah, drafted by the Oakland A's. Mm -hmm. So then he still had the option to play football because yeah. you know baseball's over by October. So he's playing for the um, Oklahoma Sooners, and then now he's thinking about going into the NFL. Yeah. And so the A's still have the option to sign him, but mm -hmm. if he declares for the uh, NFL, that means the A's have to decide on if they really want to keep his rights or just let him play football. Oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah so it's kind of a pick one. Yeah, pretty much. But um, Like a Bo Jackson type of thing. Pretty much, yeah. So he could be like Bo Jackson or Deion Sanders, who mm -hmm. both had M MLB and NFL careers. Uh, but it's up to the A's. If the A's right. really feel like he's a great prospect, mm -hmm. then they have to sign him for multiple years just so that way they could keep his rights. Otherwise, he'll become a free agent after this next year and be able yeah. to sign with whichever M MLB team he wants. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, he just actually decided that he de um, he declared – this last Monday, uh, the 14th, that uh, he was going to be going into the NFL. Mm. So now the ball's in the MLB's court if they really want to pursue and try and keep him. Yeah. So um, another little thing in that is that there was a – there's like a cap on rookies for the MLB. I think it's like a three. They can only make up to $3 million as opposed to like an 18 or $20 million deal. And that's one of the reasons why Kyler Murray was considering the NFL because – Rookie salary automatically is like ten to fifteen million dollars a year mm -hmm. for the top five picks. So, um, the MLB recently said that you know what will waive that rookie uh, limit if he signs with if the team offers him something, you know, up to fifteen million. That's interesting. Million. And and are there any other young prospects who can also benefit from this now? Kind of like taking precedence. Oh yeah, the, there's a lot of prospects in the. Um, there's one in particular, Mr. Trevor Lawrence. He plays for Clemson. Mm -hmm. He's also a pitcher for the Clemson baseball oh, team. Shit. So he's another guy that could potentially go both ways. That could play Dang. both baseball and football. So it could open doors to them potentially doing that in the off season. And it would really help the MLB to kind of get more like sought after players and talent because more names like that yeah. Yeah, yeah because fuck dude i mean i mean and it's a nice place to retire on the mlb I mean, you're not you know, like your joints are fine <laughs> no and most likely they'll only play like probably four years in the nfl and then just it stay in the over, mlb yeah. yeah you know um i think dion only played what 10 years 
in the NFL. In the NFL, yeah. And he played like up to 13, 14 years in the MOB. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's possible. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens with that. I really hope that the A's give him a shot and sign him to something because that would be pretty cool to see Well, him I don't know. The last status I heard was that he he declared for the draft now. Yeah, so they, but the A's have So to, they have uh, three days to decide. Yeah, they have decide. three days to decide if they want to sign him. So, so the countdown, it's on, Foo. It's on. It's out. It's on. So, um, Fu, do you got anything in the MLB for us? Yeah, um, nothing much. Uh, there's some trade rumors. Uh, a couple only that hold weight is really Sonny Gray, the Yankees, uh, the Le- Yankees lefty. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He's being currently uh, shopped with six teams. Oh, okay. Um, no one in particular. The Reds have been mentioned. Um, but that's the only notable thing going on with that trade. Okay. So he's being shopped around. So the Reds are kind of big movers right now with acquiring Kemp, um, Puig, and Wood. Uh, so that's that's going to be interesting to see how how we can do turn that around. Also, um, Jose's boy Machado. No, oh man. yeah, he's not you're, my boy. He's your boy, dude. He's your boy, dude. He's your boy. Because that's that the first. So that's the first time I saw you get really passionate about sports. He's like, I don't know what it is about this guy. Well, no, we were at the bar, dude. We were, at, we were at the bar. I, I wanted to punch him, dude. We face. were at the bar, and we saw Machado come up at least three times. Every time, this guy was visibly frustrated <laughs> and i was like yeah this guy that's his boy dude <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy that's his yeah. boy so anyways the foo's boy mm-hmm. um he has a current eight year offer on the table from the chicago white Sox. okay um and it's kind of pending on him i don't think good the, riddance man get the fuck out yeah, of here seriously, seriously bro i didn't want him back either no no he he wasn't coming back the dodgers wanted nothing to do with it was him a after fucking that. charade dude yeah yeah man he he sh- he proved that he didn't have what it took. No, but um, yeah. So he he's trying to play the market, but that's the only thing he's had so far. So I think he's going to sign with the White Sox. All signs are pointing to that, unless um, the Phillies can somehow convince both Harper and him to be on the same team. Mm-hmm. I don't see that happening. Um, and the Harper, I you know, it's he's still a free agent. That's pretty. Oh, interesting. Pretty surprising. Yeah, people people thought he would have been signed by now. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm kind of. I wonder what the hell's going on because uh, he was also looking for this maximum eight to ten year type of contract. Yeah. Which, by the way, it sounds insane, but I was listening to a reporter comment the other day on uh-huh. it, saying that most of these contracts uh, they never get realized till they're ten years because the players have the option of just cut. Uh, oh, yeah, it, opting out, opting and then out after five, mm-hmm. and either resigning. Uh-huh. Or still be entitled to a portion of the future money, yeah, but not a guarantee. It's part of the contract, but not like the full there. amount. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I don't think you knew that. Yeah, I, I remember them. So talking when they about like, it. if they sign up for two years, two fifty uh-huh. mil, you're halfway through your contract. You could be like, "Well, I'm halfway through. I've already got paid one twenty five. Yeah, like I'm going to opt out and just take instead of five more years, one hundred twenty five. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to opt out and grab like thirty million. Which is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. which is still a lot of money. And then they could yeah. sign a new contract, which would be even for more, depending on how they're performing. Yeah, or so they they're not just... really losing money. No, or, not at all. or even it's like, cool, I'm going to just retire and not play anymore. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. Opt out, $30 million. Jeez. Yeah. So, um, did you hear that the Dodgers actually traded for uh, Russell Martin again? Uh, really? Oh. Yeah, we got Russell Martin back. Well, check that yeah, out. Yeah, so Is he's. Did gonna... anybody else want that? Uh, did I we mean, want that? Why not? I we just got rid of Grandal. We got rid of Grandal. Yeah, that was an interesting, interesting. Yeah, he deal. signed with the Brewers for uh, eighteen, 18 million. million dollars. Grandal, Yasmani Grandal. Ah, interesting. The guy yeah. from the Dodgers, food. Yeah, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. So also, too, DJ LeMahieu and um, Troy Tulowitzki both signed with the Yankees mm. for to two each to two year deals. So the Yankees are loading up on their infield, which is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Honestly. The last falling piece for that really is Harper. What the hell is he going to do? Yeah. Because. Um, I mean, that's what the whole league's waiting for before all these trades start going through, too. I mean, he hasn't even met with the Dodgers, right? There hasn't nope. even been a discussion. Nope. So it's like, dude, just talk to him. Like, either, you know, let's just get it out of the way. Dude, it's, yeah, it's getting to a ridiculous point with this shit. Right? Yeah, seriously. So in other news um i actually wanted to talk about this one story um foo 
Joe, see, I know you're not familiar with uh, international soccer, are you? Like, are not you fam- a whole lot. Just when I go to my dad's house. <laughs> so, do you um, are you familiar Just with any name lot. of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, he's he's a familiar. He's a household name everywhere, yeah. right? Yeah, pretty much. Him and Lionel Messi are the two household names in uh, international soccer at this point. Yeah, along with Neymar, uh, he's one of the new up and comers uh-huh. from Brazil. Um, so, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo has been in the news recently. Because, one, he moved from his uh, old club, Real Madrid, to Juventus, Mm -hmm. which is an Italian club. And a lot of people are are saying that he kind of pulled like a Kevin Durant move. Like he went from a club that still would have been good to um, a club that was already pretty made. And now they're just set up to win multiple championships. Well, yeah, they oh, won like yeah. fucking seven games in a row. Yeah, yeah, Juventus is fucking dope already Dude, bef- without fucking, him. Yeah, and they're, they're fucking nuts with it up, him man. now. Um, well, that wasn't the only controversy recently he's been involved Uh-oh, in. Oh, fool. Um, oh, what so happened? back in 2009, he was um, alleged in a rape of a woman in a penthouse at Ooh, the Palms Casino. That's not good. In June of 2009. And back then. Uh, you know, they had gone to a non disclosure agreement, mm-hmm. paid her off, and then, you know, nothing happened what of it. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden on uh, June 12th, uh, I'm sorry, hold on here. Um, it actually happened in 2010 where she sued him, and the police started, began a uh, criminal investigation into the rape itself. And so recently. What the fuck? Yeah. Recently, his attorney announced that. Uh, he was warranted for a DNA sample uh-huh. for investigation into these rape allegations. So they're saying that the non-disclosure agreement, I'm trying to find the numbers here in that, mm. but it was an upwards of like, I think, 10 to $15 million a year. Jesus or I mean, Christ. 10 to $15 million, <laughs> like simple payoff. Um, to be quiet, but I think she just kind of was like, nah, I'm She's done coming with it. for that hundred mil food. Oh, dude, this guy's fucking rich beyond all belief. Oh, man. yeah, dude. These soccer, these international soccer players are dude, nuts. Dude, when he signed with Juventus, it was for like 110 mil. Yeah, yeah. This guy's worth up to, I think, 300 million. Jeez, uh, yeah, 300 million Christ. dollars. Yeah, he's fucking, it's nuts. But, foo, just because you disclose. Doesn't mean you can't rape foo. <laughs> that was his mentality, at least. Jesus. I, Pretty I, much. I guess so, man. It's a nice interpretation, I suppose. Dirtbag. <laughs> 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 He's actually, so his net worth is $450 million. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Lionel Messi is right behind him at $400 million. Mm-hmm. And then coming up the rear is uh, Neymar at $185 million. So yeah, Messi and Jesus Christ, dude, these these soccer players, man. This is this yeah. is the fucking sport to go into, guys. Yeah, Seriously, and you get to travel the fucking world. The world, you live in fucking Europe. Come on, I mean, not you know, not all places are great, but still, if you're part of the soccer team, you're a god over there. Pretty much, yeah. yeah you're you're looked up to, dude. They take their football, fucking like f- yeah. football, yeah, football. It's football. life, football. football. Ooh. So, Fu, what other sports you got for us over DS? Well, Fu, I don't know if you've heard recently in the uh, tennis arena that uh, Andy Murray has retired, Fu. Andy Murray? Oh, yeah. The Who? Scott. Is he the one that yelled at everybody? No, mm-hmm. that was John McEnroe. Nah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. That he's been retired for a while. Okay. Yeah, uh, he, he's been playing uh, uh, almost as long, I mean, just as long as Federer. And he came up when Agassi was, like, around the game for, like, mm-hmm. 10 years. Mm-hmm. So he's been a pretty household name. Well, uh, he's calling it a quits, foo. Uh, his, he just got an injury where he, like, dislocated his hip. Ooh. And uh, that's the injury that's kind of forcing him to retire. Yeah. He revealed he's been having problems. Uh-huh. And he had surgery, I think, in November, December. Yeah. And this is a month, month and a half after the surgery. Damn. And his fucking hip, like, fucking got re-injured. So he's calling it quits, man. After the tournament he's currently in, yeah, that's but he just make had a pretty bad loss, so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, so he's he's pretty much done. So also, Fu, uh, you're a big hockey guy, right, Fu? Uh, sure, man. Of course you are. Of course, I mean, who wouldn't be, right? You love the Ottawa Senators, Fu, don't you? Who the Philadelphia Flyers? Oh yeah, man, the Boston Bruins. Oh, that's see? a team, right? Exactly. Yes, sir. All right. Well, Fu, uh, if you would have. Uh, been listening to the Kings game recently since they're our local team. Okay. 
a familiar face was actually calling play by play for the game. Who's that? Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> 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 what, what, what kind of shit was he spewing out at the hockey game? Man? Oh man, he was just like, um, he was also, my role. He's all, come on, the nephew, point, shot, like on shots, and, and like, like it was. Go. I guess it was kind of pissing off the other commentators. <laughs> <laughs> but every time there was a power play, he kept yelling, "Shoot it in, shoot it in, come on!" Because a power play means they remove <laughs> a player from right. one of the teams. Yeah. So he was just being annoying. They said like a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then they said, uh, oh, "What stoned it, as fuck." And then, um, I guess near the end of the Snoop first period, near the end of the yeah, first true. period, uh, a couple of the players from the Kings uh-huh. uh, got into a shoving match with the other players, and they were going to let them fight, <laughs> or uh, you know, it was leading up to a fight. And mm. Snoop Dogg was like, "Oh yeah, come on, do it for Snoop Dogg. Like, let's do this." <laughs> like he was super hyped up, <laughs> um, so he was really entertaining. They said, and uh, they they said they would welcome him back to do it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the commentators are ripping Dude, out their hair. Fucking well, they said other than the power. As a commentator, even they watch. said other than the power play nonsense, he was actually doing a pretty good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was able to call it, dude. He's like because he coaches his kids mm, in football, like football, right. basketball, baseball. Mm. Like this dude's involved in every sport because he's like involved in the community. Yeah, yeah. ever so, since the Kings like went on that championship spree, like mm. in the early two twenty tens. Yeah, when they won. Uh, two out of the three years yeah. or three out of the four uh-huh. uh he got into hockey and food last year or well it's 2019 2017 all-star game mm-hmm. uh the nhl let him dj the intros for all the all-star players oh shit yeah so he really Crazy. yeah he likes to be involved with the nhl and they yeah. kind of welcome it so yeah so all right. that's pretty yeah man cool. hometown legend yeah so and uh something pretty funny um you know who Stephen A. Smith is, Foo? Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. I know who Stephen A. Smith is. Um, Loudmouth motherfucker. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's been just trolling the Cowboys. Yeah, ah. I've seen it. He was wearing a cowboy Today, hat, smoking he was, a cigar. He was wearing, Are he you was, serious? Yeah, in his <laughs> studio. In his studio on his show. Foo, he got called out by a fan today, Foo. He said, first of all, you got to take that damn cowboy hat and stop talking about damn cowboys. You understand <laughs> me, son? Stephen A. is like, who is this? And then he's like, Jerry Jones don't need to do nothing. Cowboys forever. Blah, blah, blah. He's all, this, this. He's all stop, stop talking about it. I'm telling you right now, you better stop. And then Stephen A was just like, wait, what the hell? Is that Shaq? No, he was like, who is this? He's like, this yeah, is he's Tex, like, Tex Johnson. This is Tex Johnson. This is Tex Johnson <laughs> from <laughs> He's yeah, like, no, this is it's Tex not. Johnson from Dallas, and he's like, "No, it's not. This is Shaquille O'Neal." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, how'd you figure it no, out?" No, he started laughing. He's like, "This is Shaquille O'Neal. This is Tex Johnson." He's like, "No, no, this is Tex Johnson." <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. You don't funny. stop talking about them like that. Don't, don't you talk about my boys like that, dude? It was pretty hilarious, <laughs> yeah, man. It was great. It was great. Um, you know, speaking of Stephen um, Mr. A. Smith, you know, he's been discussing a lot of. You know NBA trades mm-hmm. um, recently because dude the NBA has been crazy recently. Uh, right now the top dogs for the MVP are Giannis Atatakumbo. Okay. From <laughs> Milwaukee. That's Bucks. right, Foo. That's right, Foo. The said Greek it, freak. The Greek freak, man. The Greek freak. Yeah, That's he's from Greece, nickname. man. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. No shit. No dude, he's from Greece. He's awesome. I, yeah, Greece. okay. Well, yeah, I'm halfway there. If I know that information. <laughs> and he's black, <laughs> And he's black. I know. Okay. What? All right. Um, so anyways, both of them have been on a tear, but James Harden, he actually broke a very interesting record recently. He snapped Kobe's 16 game streak of 30 points or more. Uh, he, today he, um, he had 30 points before the third quarter for 17 straight games, breaking Kobe's record. And he's averaging right now 34 points per game, eight assists. 8.8 8.8 assists, I'm sorry, 6.2 rebounds with a uh, player efficiency rating of 29, plus 29. Mm-hmm. That's freaking amazing. That's MVP numbers right there. And and all honestly, I think he's going to win MVP. Like, Fu, what do you think? Anthony Davis? Well, no, I'm talking about James Harden. Oh, James Harden? Oh, dude, I mean, he, he won it last year because he's a fucking baller. And he's yeah. doing it again. He's This era's Kobe, I think. Um, Pretty much, dude. Minus, he, he hasn't gotten the right, to the rape allegations yet, but, we, you know, there's still time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty yeah. of time, only, dude. The day is young. He's only my age, 20, 29, so, uh-huh. you, know, yeah, you know, we still got time. Yeah, got he's time. he's he's the only black guy doing the Euro step, fool. 
Oh, dude, and he does it so oh smooth. Oh, my gosh. Really? He does it better than the Euros. Yeah, it's so smooth, man. Like, he could be coming down at full speed uh-huh. and then still, boom, step, 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 like butter, man. He's just smooth. Crazy. And then he just, like, the way he flicks it up into uh-huh. the basket just looks so precise. <laughs> it's just, dude, it's just like it's, it's like he's playing with a fucking trash can up there. It's uh-huh. just, like, so big, man. Nothing stopping him. Um but you know the the Rockets aren't that haven't been that great. You know they've still been losing games okay. despite him. You know averaging up to thirty five points, mm-hmm. almost almost forty, dude. He's it's a, he could put forty up any uh, night. Yeah, that stri- uh, he went on a streak like Kobe, right? Yeah, uh, of like I think it's fifteen or more consecutive forty point games. Kobe is the only guy to ever do that in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Not even MJ did that. Foo, dang man. Now yeah. James Harden and Kobe have done that. Mm-hmm. James Harden's gonna be a Hall of Famer, I think. Uh, all he needs is that ring. He just needs that yeah, ring. That's true. And if he keeps putting he's up the stats he's doing, it. yeah, it, you he's know, he's on the wrong team. <sighs> I don't know. Is nobody else I don't saying know, that? Man. No, I think they just don't get the right pieces for him. It's like when now they... he's on the wrong team because they signed Chris Paul to that stupid contract. Yeah, they shouldn't mm. have signed Chris Paul to that contract. That was that made no sense to me at all. Um, and then uh, Clint Capello got hurt again. Yeah, he's going to be that. out for a month and a half. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, he's one of their top top paid guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the guys they paid a lot of money to keep. Yeah, and they let go of um, Trevor Ariza. You know, and they Luka, got weaker man. and Luca Bamute. So like mm-hmm. they lost a lot of their defensive pieces. Um, but you know what? We'll see what happens with them. Usually, somehow they'll they bounce back towards the end of the year. They recently won against the Grizzlies, one twelve to ninety four. Um, so they haven't been doing that bad. Um, they lost to the Lakers. I know that. So, <laughs> um, but um, <laughs> in more news, the dude, the Spurs, the Spurs have been surprising. I heard the Spurs have been uh, tearing it up lately. Yeah, uh, they've uh, they're actually back in the playoff picture. Yeah, they're twenty five and twenty right now. They're only one game out of uh, first place in the Southwest standings of the uh, Rockets, who are twenty five and eighteen. So they're. They're hanging in there. They're hanging in there with DeMar DeRozan scoring up to 22 points a game and averaging six assists a game. So with And I know the last game against the, I think it was the Thunder, where they had that uh, double overtime game. And I think it was LaMarcus Aldridge. Let me pull this up. I think he had a 51-point game. 56. 56? Yeah, a 56-point game. Paul George had a 30-point game, too. You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Fu. Well done, well done. Uh, um, yeah, it was a crazy. It was a crazy game. Um, I think uh, DeRozan had. Oh damn, he only had 16 points. Jeez. And they still won. Wow. I know, Fu. Insane. Hey man, so I know you've been speaking of all these playoff pictures the whole times. I have. You have. What are you talking about? Well, you Playoff know the Lake, the Lakers, foo. Yeah, man. I know you've been itching for some Laker news, foo. Yeah, I, I mean, we don't. I don't talk about sports, at least not with my wife or anything like that. So, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, LeBron's actually been injured for these last ten games. Mm-hmm. Um, after the, I believe the Christmas game, the game right after that, he hurt his groin. Oh and no! So he's been injured for Was a this in while. The news? Yes, man. Sure yes, was, guy. Sure was, oh, Foo. Yeah. This is why the playoff picture is important now, man. We're we're slipping. Okay. Yeah, the Lakers yeah, yeah. Uh, have gone three and seven in the last ten games without mm-hmm. LeBron. They're just like, dude. They're just ra- mailing it in, dude. It's, That's how it feels. It's ugly. It just look, yeah, it's like been ugly. They're really depending on every on someone to have a monster game, yeah. rather than you know play up to their strengths. And like Kyle Kuzma had a great game. He had a forty-one point game the other night. And, and he had a twenty nine point game, and then a twenty nine point game just well. recently. But dude, Brandon Ingram, he's not doing it for me. He's not. Fu Lonzo he, Ball, Lonzo Ball either. Um, Josh Hart, you know what? I, I like his defensive hustle, but that dude's got to pick it up on the offensive side. Mm-hmm. I know he has it. Uh, I've seen it. He has the shot. Um, you know, he's just got to get the touches. Do so, they still have some growing up to do? do yeah, think? because a lot of the starters recently are, you know, a lot of the younger guys. Yeah, they're not so, they're not robust looking. Like they're no. not they like obviously they're not like tenured or anything. No, like it's that, like but second it's years like when they show years. footage of an existing player that's like 
been around in the league for like 10, 12 years. Yeah, right. it's like when they first and started juniors. and they're all skinny and shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like they just have a bunch of them on the same team. It, it was like uh, the early days, Barry Bonds. To, yeah. like, the later San to Francisco the, yeah, Giants, exactly. Barry Bond. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> how it is. Yeah, so yeah. I I think we need to make a trade for someone like Food, AD. What, food what are your thoughts, man? I don't know, man. I, I know that, I, well, I wasn't on board with Ingram ever, really. Um, I know that um, I... I had know, hope for him, and I, I did, just been I did. I'm just like, this guy shows up when he wants to, yeah. and he's not consistent. Um, and now that he's uh, with uh, LeBron, or at least hasn't been because you know he's hurt, but um, when they had that dynamic, like they didn't really gel together. No, either. they didn't. Like He bar- he struggled and, to even get like 12 points. And you, know, you can say, oh, well, he's being overshadowed by LeBron. Well, yeah, you kind of are, man. He's fucking LeBron. Yeah, but LeBron's going to set you up. You just got to put up the shot. And the Does thing... it mean LeBron's not a good teammate to no. have? No, yeah. And, you know, you, got, you have to adapt. Like, LeBron still averages close to 10, you know, assists a game, mm-hmm. um, you know, in his long career. So it's like, dude, you know you'll get touches with him. You just got to execute it. And with Ingram, I think he gets too much in his own head. Mm -hmm. And he gets down on himself a lot from what I hear, like, from a lot of interviews with Luke Walton Mm -hmm. um, and on Lakers Sportsnet. They talk about how he gets down on himself a lot. And that kind of, you know, he needs to get over that. Mm -hmm. Same thing with uh, Lonzo. They don't have, like, that attack mentality. Yeah. So. Hey, um, who, who got drafted first overall the year Lonzo got drafted again? Why am I drawing the Markel blankets? Fultz? Ah, uh, Markel yes. Fultz. Yeah, it was between Fultz and Ball. So, foo. So these, like, I think since 2014, we've had these high picks with the Lakers, mm-hmm. um, and none of them have been panning out. And these recent guys, I mean, they're kind of showing flashes. But what do you think, foo? Should we just load off the barn, foo? Should we just trade them all for Anthony Davis, who's uh, the best center in basketball? Yeah. Do you think we should do it? Because I think they have a chance to. But just like the Paul George trade, they didn't pull the trigger and look what the fuck happened. Dude. I think they have. I think they have to do it because they have to sell them at their high point. Sell them high. Sell I mean, high. what's the point of accumulating all these guys if we can't like? If they're not badass, why can't we cash them in for a fucking something good? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's getting to that point, man. I hate to say it. Right. But like, yeah, Julius Randle didn't pan out. D'Angelo Russell didn't pan out. Uh, Jordan Clarkson didn't. Jordan Larry Clarkson, Nance didn't. Larry Nance. They're just meh. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just got to make a move. We just got to make a like, move. And like these four guys are the new fucking four young guys we have in. And they're they, they're okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Well. So, Fu, are you going to go to the next Laker game? You gonna Yeah, try to go to Laker game anytime soon, man? Well, well no. Not really. Not but you don't want to pay two thousand dollars to see the Lakers. I, I couldn't want anything less. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. For the Lakers, the tickets are only like one hundred eighty. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, only in nosebleed. <laughs> That's well, nosebleed. Really? Nosebleed. Yeah. Jeez. Well, thank you everyone for listening to Fubar Sports. We'll come at you again next week. And uh, hit us up on like Instagram. Um, we're probably going to make like a Facebook group that everybody can comment on and yeah, maybe man. Can chat about some sports. Maybe it'll develop some topics. Some Bring segments. up some topics. You know, if you guys mm-hmm. want to write us, you know, we can read some of your responses or questions. School us on some NHL. Exactly, man. Maybe you know we what? can get a trade and trade Joe C for a washing machine. Yeah, right? washing machine. <laughs> washing machine. Well, at least you're washing machine. Wash. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you all very soon. Dude.